What's up y'all? Welcome back to my channel. So I have my Ipsy, but this month it is the Ipsy Glam Bag X, which I'm really, really excited for. So this is my creator box for the month. So this was sent to me. I'm not being paid to talk about it as per usual, but it was gifted to me. I have to say too, it's really funny because I actually pay for the plus on my own so that every quarter I can get the upgrade to the Ipsy X. So it's funny. I'm going to be getting two Ipsy Xs. I haven't made my choices yet. I'm actually filming this. Well, it's after midnight. I'm filming this late at night. So it's technically the 29th so I haven't been able to like pick my items for the month so it's kind of cool so let me know if you want to see any kind of comparison with like me paying for my box picking some items yada yada you know the drill so we're gonna try everything on also if you didn't see it is curated by Alicia Keys honestly I'm gonna be really honest I was not that interested in Key Soul Care when it first came out. Now I have some products right in front of me that I absolutely love. So I'm glad that I tried a few things before this box. It got me really, really excited for getting this box, knowing that there was definitely going to be some stuff from her brand. And then also, I mean, she's got good taste, so I'm really excited. So yeah, I've been using some of the products from Key Soul Care. Really, really love them. So without further ado let's go ahead and get into this box this one i actually saw on the sneak peek and i was really intrigued of like okay what is this it's called the word woke cool steam eye mask it says it's intense hydration reduces dark circles and puffy eyes which lately i've been getting dark circles it's a new issue for me with my <laughs> terrible up and down sleep schedule. So this is like a little system. It looks kind of like a regular eye mask. So here's what it looks like. It has pockets here and then you get, they're called steam sessions. I'm assuming these are the hot. Oh, these are reusable hot and cold. The glue is sticky. What is happening? <laughs> Anyway, this is what they look like. You can heat them in the microwave on low for 10 to 15 seconds. I don't think I'm gonna use these right now. Can at least put this on, it feels nice. It's a nice material. So this is really like multifunctional. I like that this is like a reusable thing. These are reusable and then if you want, I'm sure you can purchase more of these heat cells. Kind of like hot hands. I'm thinking that's what they are basically. I'm just gonna have to try this at a later time, but I'm excited. Y'all let me know if this is something that would intrigue you or if you feel like this is one of those things like, oh, I'm never gonna use this. I will use it, but you know, it's a little different. Okay, so this box is definitely a little bit skincare heavy, but that's not a problem for me. So next up we got the Paracone vitamin c citrus brightening cleanser i have actually used this before i do love paracone products i think they're very very high quality so this is the cleanser i'm gonna do a little evian mist really smells like absolutely nothing which is good in my book i'll take it any day I always thought of Paracone as like one of the most clinically effective skincare brands at Sephora when I worked there. None of them were like incredibly difficult to like learn about, but I feel like it was the most complicated one because they really did some like interesting ingredients. Like this is a vitamin C ester, not something that you normally see on packaging because people just want to be like vitamin C, but they really go into more depth about what the product is and all that. So I like it. I'm going to go rinse this off. All right. Well, I would say that was a great item. My skin feels really, really good. As you can see, I don't have like any redness or anything going on, which you know how easily I get red. <laughs> so next up, we do have a product from Keys. This is the Be Luminous Exfoliator, and it has, I don't even know how to pronounce that, powder and lactic acid. So I actually don't know anything about this going into it, but I think based off of that, it's kind of like a powder exfoliator, which I'm all about. Beautiful packaging. I have to say it looks very, very high end. It says, I am layered, complex, and divine. You begin with wet hands and face, apply a small amount to palm of hands, add water to create a creamy foam, massage onto skin in circular motions, avoiding the eye area, rinse with warm water, and pack dry. This is why I have this Evian at my desk. It's perfect for this. My face is like dripping. Okay, this is a pretty good size container. You can like see the powder. <gasps> Ooh, it smells nice. It's not overly like fragrant or anything, but it has a nice light scent. I feel very bougie with this scent. I love exfoliators like this. This one feels really nice. 
I like these because I can use them pretty much any day I do my makeup before just to like gently exfoliate and get a smooth clean canvas. I mean I'm I'm really happy with this. I just poured out way too much in the beginning. Now I know. <laughs> um, it really poured out a lot so y'all be careful but I like it. Let me rinse again. All right, skin is once again feeling so nice. Zero complaints. We have two more Keys products, both like skincare oriented. So the next one is the Skin Transformation Cream. This comes at the right time. I need the moisture. It says it's a potent, gentle, clean formula. It hydrates and nourishes for plumped, radiant looking skin. It has bakachul, uh, malachite, hmm, ceramides, and hyaluronic acid. And you massage it into clean skin face and neck morning and night okay that's pretty straightforward she's quite beautiful so I'm just going to apply it okay, it's got like a light creamy formula it doesn't feel real heavy if you don't like something too heavy I think you'll still like this this again has just like the lightest hint of a scent it smells like a quinoa bowl <laughs> I know that's weird, but you know, nutritious for the body, nutritious for the skin. It feels nice. My skin is drier and this feels like it's, it's nourishing, it's moisturizing, but it doesn't feel heavy and I could still layer, you know, my typical oil over top of it. So I feel like this could go for really any skin type. Really the only downside that I'm seeing, just a quick glance over the ingredients, is that fragrance is in it. It is like almost the very end of the list, so it's a very small amount, but I would, I guess, prefer if skincare had zero fragrance, even though there are certainly times where I do enjoy the scent of products, so I can't always complain if I like it sometimes. And then one more thing from Keys Soul Care. This is the Obsidian Facial Roller. Ooh, it's pretty. I got the Trend Mood box that had the blush in it with the brush, and it has the same handle. I guess it's kind of like a wood grain handle. But this is what it looks like. I like rollers like this because usually the bigger ones are the ones that I use. Feels nice. I've been asked a lot of times, like, do those work? Personally, I think they work as long as you have the right expectation. It is not going to, you know, lift your skin the way that surgery would or anything like that. But what it will do is help with your product penetration just to kind of force it into the skin a little bit. It's the same reason why we tap, you know, tap, 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 tap. You're trying to get it into those skin layers. And you can do some depuffing with it as well. And lymphatic drainage to me is a little bit easier with like a gua sha, um, but a, you know, a roller can help to depuff a bit. Um, it feels very nice on the skin too. So it's kind of like a pampering thing. Um, so yeah, if, if those are the things that you expect from it, I think you'll be quite pleased. It says, treat yourself to a gentle stimulating massage with our obsidian roller. Obsidian stone is a volcanic glass created from quickly cooled lava. I always forget that. The roller will feel cool to the touch, helping skin feel revitalized, improving skin tone and texture. For an enhanced experience, use with the skin transformation cream, which is what we're doing, to help absorb easily into the skin. Starting on the neck, gently roll upward and outward in smooth strokes. Continue making your way to the face and rolling motions across the chin, cheeks, and eye area and forehead. Use as desired. And you can place it in the fridge for a few minutes before using. When I use rollers, I'm like all over the place, but you know, you wanna do your like upward motions, fight gravity a little bit. I do like it. I feel like it, it's very bougie, and I do feel like you'll get a benefit from it if you use it, but if you're like me, sometimes it's hard to remember and I'm just like slapping on the moisturizer and rubbing it in. I'm really, really happy with everything. Obviously, I'll try the eye mask situation a bit more, but for a little like quick skincare routine, I couldn't be more pleased. I am getting a little bit of pilling, like rolling on the skin. I don't feel that I use like an insane amount. Um, I don't know, I, I could use a little less, but I really don't feel like I over moisturized. I did get some sun at the beach. Now I protected my skin obviously, but it could be that I needed a more intense exfoliation, but I definitely am having some like peeling and rolling. So a little bit odd for me, it's not a typical thing. Jury's still out on that first impression. With this, I think the next time I use it, I will use like very sparingly and see how that does. But the amount that I use now is the amount or less than what I typically use. Um, and 
yeah I don't know I don't know what's going on with that very curious but I did enjoy it I like it my skin feels great that's just like an odd thing but we got the lip injection extreme so let's put this on I like to really focus it on my top lip because that's where I like a little bit extra plump instant and long-term lip plumper so we have a lip plumper awesome so the last two products are both eyes so i have a palette and an eyeshadow stick i'm gonna use the palette because i'm more of a palette kind of gal but i also got the long wear cream shadow stick from bobby brown this is golden bronze i know i have a few bobby brown eyeshadow sticks i cannot find them for the life of me i just don't reach for shadow sticks mostly because i like you know colorful looks but this is what she looks like let's go ahead and swatch I mean it's very very creamy personally i don't i don't love this texture on my eyelid i feel like it gives off a very like i don't know textured kind of eye i'm not sure it's just something that i'm not really crazy about but something great about these if you want something creamy and blendable and easy they certainly are because you can just kind of like dab it on blend it out and be done so they have like that great ease if you want something that's got a little bit of a shimmer to it it's very creamy it almost has like a a subdued metallic look to it but again that is golden bronze i'll go ahead and show you the last product <laughs> so it is the lawless the baby one talc free eyeshadow palette i am going to do everything except my eyes come back and show you an eye look so that you can see this on I, I don't really like the packaging it's like that papery packaging that gets dirty but it is what it is it's probably more environmentally friendly which is one reason they would be going for it i do like the color story it's kind of neutral but a little bit of mauvey like it, it gives pink feel from the packaging but it's more so neutral then you've got like a mauvey and a little bit of a reddish tone looks pretty i like that it's mostly matte and then you have looks like a soft shimmer and a metallic let's swatch that metallic because i'm curious okay pretty that's more the shine kind of look that i like so i'll be back in one second to show you how i do an eye look with this palette the last couple times i did my eyes i did one off camera and then showed you how i did it but i figured this time we'll just kind of come up with the look together again the colors that we're using i am going to prime with p louise base i do this every single time it is my favorite base i'm just gonna use a flat brush to apply the base I've been wanting to try more Lawless Beauty. I think I've only ever tried like one or two things and you can get it at Sephora. It's a clean beauty brand if you're not familiar with Lawless. I think I'm going to go for this, which is almost like a very deep, dark kind of eggplant. I'm gonna just start packing this. Wow, okay, very pigmented. So this is just gonna be like my deepest part of my eye. Um, as you can see, I have it above my crease. That is important. I have a slightly fluffier brush and I'm gonna pick up the kind of like mauve shade. I'm gonna begin to pack and blend kind of like right on top and above. Just giving like a little bit of a berry moment. I'm picking up a little more, but just like the lightest bit so that I can blend and diffuse and make it look a little lighter around the edges and i'm gonna pick more up and really pack it into that outer corner right here that's where i want the most depth i decided kind of halfway through that that's where i'm gonna place it and begin to pull it out a little bit i like to elongate to my eyes i'm gonna take my second brush no extra shadow yet and go ahead and blur that edge out a little mm, okay as i begin to try to blend the deepest color it i don't know it doesn't blend out quite the way that i want it to like if anything it kind of diffuses the edges too much and then you're left with like this chunk of color so i'm gonna pick a little bit of it up lightly on my second brush and see if it will blend better that way instead of packing and blending i'm kind of just like picking it up and blending taking that second shade again and just 
rebuilding the color. Yeah, there is something patchy about this. I'm taking a very fluffy brush and very lightly diffusing everything. And you'll see that that darkest shadow, like my initial packing, it stayed. Um, it's a little weird. It's a little weird to be honest. Like I'm tempted to kind of remove it and apply a tackier layer of base and see if that helps at all because that is quite abnormal for me. That's very uneven. Like I'm, I'm actually like really disappointed that it's doing that. If I have patchy edges or if I blend the shadow too far out, I will go in with more base and simply pat it on. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. I know this looks a little crazy, but it can actually be helpful in fixing mistakes instead of redoing everything. I'm going really, really overboard. Usually I would only put a little bit more base down, you know, in particular areas, but because I'm having such issues, I'm just gonna try it. I mean, worst case scenario, I take it all off. So you can see it kind of helped give a very diffused look. I'm still not really impressed with how things are blending. It almost like blends away in some areas and then doesn't in others. So it looked very patchy. I'd certainly be open to like trying this in different ways. Um, I'm not like discounting it offhand and saying it's bad, but um, yeah, it's a little, it's been a little problematic. It could definitely be better, but it's not the worst. For the lid, um, apart from doing a matte, which I don't normally do, these are the two colors. I mean, you could really use either, but I feel like this is the more like standard to go for that. So I'm just gonna go for that shade. And it's more of a shimmer. The other is a little bit more metallic. It's beautiful. Actually, I'm tempted to use it. I'm almost tempted to just use both. I'm just gonna do a little bit of extra base so that those shadows have something to stick to. Okay, the shimmer is super soft. I just kind of layered them side by side and I'm just gonna blend a little bit of the darkest shade into that. Okay, so I just feel like this whole look is messy as hell. Um, I'm not really loving it. Partially, I could have started over. I could have done a cleaner cut crease for sure. So, you know, that's a little bit of it, but I'm experiencing like kind of a messiness, a fallout, a blend is not great. I'm just everywhere I look, I'm finding things that are uh, a little bit irksome. So I'm trying to just kind of let it be and let it be a little, you know, fluffier, less precise than some of the other looks that I do, which is fine. Of course that's fine. I don't know how I feel about this. Let me know. Do you like the way that this turned out? I'm going to do my other eye and show you the finished look. <laughs> and it's like, all right, here is the finished look. I actually think it came together really, really nicely. Once I got the lashes and everything on, it definitely improved the eye look. But y'all let me know what you think about it. Um, the palette, I'm gonna be 100% real with you guys as always was not the best. It's certainly not the worst and I'm definitely open to trying it a bit more and playing around with it but even doing the second eye and you know switching up my technique a little bit I didn't find that it was you okay? I didn't find that it was really any different the second go around trying a different way. Um, just tweaked it a little bit, but I do think that the overall look turned out pretty. The shadows are just really soft. I don't know how else to put it. It's like they don't quite want to work the way that I want them to. Just a little hard to work with. Certainly not the worst, but I know that Lawless is a little bit pricey, so disappointing to say the least. But I am really happy with everything else that we actually got to try. Cleanser, exfoliator, moisturizer, the obsidian roller. Um, the lip plumper and as far as the Bobbi Brown eyeshadow stick, it's not really my thing But I know that they are good products. I like Bobbi Brown products. So I'm not mad at that Generally speaking, I think everything turned out well. My skin feels great I mean, I don't have any issues apart from that little bit of peeling It seemed to kind of what just like roll up a bit But we'll chalk that up to skin issues unless I keep trying it and it does it some more 
um, but maybe it was just a little bit of that sun exposure I needed you know a bit more exfoliation but anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this try on let me know if you want to see any type of video with the other one I typically don't worry about posting the ipsy x too much because by the time that i get my hands on my paid one it's really late in the game and nobody watches the videos um if they're not early so anyway but that is that thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it and i will be working on another vlog i vlogged a little bit while i was at the beach not I didn't want to film all the time, just little clips of what was going on, and I'll finish up that vlog and probably post that soon. Thank you for hanging out with me as always. I really appreciate it, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.